Hi guys, my name is Jonathan, and today I'm just going to be showing you guys my word search project. So I'm just going to be scrolling through the code while I um, talk through some talk about some of the breakthroughs and the challenges that I that I faced. So the biggest challenge for me was actually um, not not making the puzzle, but actually solving the puzzle, and that was because I was a little bit confused on how to actually get the words on its own just given the file name as a parameter. So how I solved this problem was uh, a little bit scuffed. And so I just made a second array with only the solved words and added the filled array and the solved array both to the same file. So I made the array size uh, the largest word multiplied by two or the number of words times two, uh, whichever one was whichever one was greater. And then I generated three random numbers in total. So two of them for the row and the column, and then one of them for uh, the direction the word was going to go. So, so this case would be for it to be uh, horizontal. Case one would be for it to be vertical. And then case two and three is for the diagonals. And then it would, here the if statement is for it to check if uh, the word would actually fit inside the array. And then if it would fit, then it would add the word to the array. And then if not, uh, it would generate a whole another random number again for the direction. So here, uh, I'm making I'm making the solved array, so this is my second array, and then here I'm filling up uh, the first array with random with just random letters, and then here I'm printing the uh, array and the words given by the user, and I'm printing it to the console, and then this part of the code is is where I'm uh, outputting the puzzle and the solved array to a file. And then two other functions I have um, that I feel like are important is the open file. So actually reading the file and then outputting it to the console. And then because I had uh, two arrays in the same file, I had a stop character, which was the plus sign. And then uh, it would output it would output the characters until I hit the plus sign, and then it would return back to the menu, which is word search here. And the solved puzzle is kind of similar, but instead I had a, a boolean called print now, and then and then if if my uh, if the next character would hit the plus sign, then I would know to start printing the solved array. And then so now I'm just going to run the code and then so new puzzle words I want to add. I'll just use the words from the example. So apple, new word, pie, runt, and wheat. And then I want to generate now. Uh, hold on, that's not working. Hold on, let me run it again. Apple, wheat, pie, runt. Okay, so here we go. So this is the puzzle array, and then this these are the words that I that I put in. And so I'm just gonna name it like Bob. And then I'm going to exit. And then so here we have Bob right here. So this is this is my solved array. This is the stop character. And then this is the filled array. And then I can show you guys. Uh, so that outputting. So file name Bob. So here's the outputted array. And then I can solve the array. So Bob. And then it would print out all the characters. So um, I feel like before I submit, I think I have to work on like 
top down top down design a little bit because there's a lot of code in just one function so before i submit i'm gonna fix up 